stand for. Uh, it's, it's awesome. For, like pancaking guys, um, it, it's one of those feelings that you gotta, you gotta do actually, to know for yourself. Funny like, story. I didn't, I didn't know that you could cut in the lines yeah. at, the, <laughs> at some point in the race. So I ran the whole time on the outside. And in the in college or? Yeah. Oh, it's good. Um, tra uh, Travis Frederick. Um, I mentioned before. Uh, and, you know, I'd love to move my game like his. And, um, you know, he, like I said before, he plays the really great explosiveness and a great twitch. Um, he's very yeah, strong, I, um, anchor of that O line. I mean, and, I would, I would you know, he's very consistent in his pass pro, too. Like Oregon State, you, know, you, you um, never see him uh, just different you know, flinch on the press or anything um, like that. So, great, great guy to go off. My parents are very supportive about the school. Yes, yes, yes. Just go out there and try to get exposure. I never got any offers, though. You know, I, you always have to work on things. I mean, you know, my first year coming in, uh, you know, playing center for the first time, I, yeah, I had to work on stuff. But at my redshirt freshman year to now, like, they're all my calls, you know, and, and I pride myself on it. You know, I, I, I went through all the looks, like, preparing for it, and you know, I was a, it was a big deal to me, and uh, I took pride in it. So it came easy when you kind of wanted to take pride in that. So. I don't think things like that that motivated me. Even now, at the time, I just controlled it. I controlled it, uh, which was for the front stage. Can you ask a question again? Uh, yeah, I kind of, uh, I was doing a recruiting kind of two or three months last, and uh, you know, I, I, th I think both. I mean, you know, yeah, I think, I think we've passed, passed a little bit more like, the last two years and, uh, you know, maybe like recent years before that. But I, I think, you know, I, I have a kind of jack of all trades. I mean, th this year we put in a lot of like RPO stuff. So, you know, and we've been in a lot of two minute situations and, um, you know, games where, you know, it was pass heavy, you know, because the run game wasn't working. So I, I think I have a, 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 a quite bit of film of both, honestly. But, um, you know, I think run, run for one run game, speaking itself, I think it's a great film to look at. Um, you know, I, I like watching myself. So. What has the Big Ten taught you? Excuse me? The Big Ten and how deep the Big Ten is, how good your team has been the last three, four years. What has the Big Ten taught you as far as player development, personalities, respect on and off the field, and toughness? You know, I, th I think it speaks a lot. I mean, you know, the Big Ten is a very physical conference. Um, every year, you know, guys are developing, like you said. Um, you know, in off season, you can, like my, my redshirt freshman year to my redshirt sophomore year, that, that transition itself, I think I've, I grew a lot um, physically, mentally. Um, you know, I got more flexible. So I think, you know, that conference itself, if you do it right, like, you know, a lot of guys come out of that conference that are, um, you know, big time players. And um, I come from Wisconsin and our program, you know, I think year in and year out, we're always competing for a Big Ten championship for a reason. You know, we have, we have a great program back there, and uh, you know, we're always looking to compete. There is no, all of a sudden, like, nine guys leave as a senior class. There is no, like, oh, they're going to be bad. Like, this last, this last year, like, I think we were maybe not ranked in the preseason as much, but we knew we had a great team coming. And, um, you know, to compete for another Big Ten championship game, and, um, you know, obviously things are always planned, but... Um, but to compete, you know, to be two top teams in the Big Ten, I, I think it speaks for itself. Last question, please. Yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Right. Um, I had a, a minor AC scope done uh, in mid January and I'm just not cleared yet to do uh, drills. I'm going to be cleared mid April. Um, so I'm hoping to do something there. Um, but uh, otherwise, it was just a, it, it never limited me. And it, it's I just didn't want a, a lingering pain to be an issue at OTAs and rookie camps. Um, so I just took care of it. Just small things. Yeah, but I care more about my health than a rookie camp and OTAs. I want you to block it this way a little more different. I might do that. However, I would never Excuse me? Yeah. No. I mean, yeah. A lot of guys like that I, I live with, uh, we you know we'd always have like, like a movie night. Like every Wednesday night, you know we'd always have movie night. I do. Uh, yes. We watch you know, uh, comedy, you know, just to just to get away from it for about an hour or so. Uh, yeah. Maybe the next day yeah. we're gonna have you know a bigger walk through, you know, and stuff like that. But you know you got you got your friends to lean on, and you got you know teammates. I call home. You know, I'm, so I'm a family guy, so I mean I talk to my brother often, and um, you know just check up on him and. 
um, you know, his life and my mom and dad, my, my grandma and grandpa and stuff. So I check back home, you know, when I have some downtime. But uh, otherwise, you know, I'm hanging out with the guys. And, you know, I'm always building some more camaraderie around it. I, I love it, you know, so. Well done, guys. Thank you.